Hi everyone, my name is Becky Durbin and I'm on the teaching team at the Glendora Vineyard Church. I have a question for you. What does the love of God look like during this pandemic? On April 10th, my sister-in-law Kathy sent out a powerful email to the family. Let me tell you a little bit about her. She's rock solid. She's an anchor. She's a pillar of strength. She's full of common sense. She has this gift of finding solutions for problems. She's a pursuer of God and his truth, and she's willing to go wherever that truth leads her. She is a picture of stability. This is what she wrote to the family. I consider myself to be emotionally strong, physically healthy, mentally capable, and spiritually connected to my creator. Confidence and decisiveness are valued personal trademarks. I didn't know how quickly all of this could be turned on its head. Almost nonstop panic attacks over much of the last three weeks are a new experience for me. Generalized fears and uncertainty around so many issues personally and in our community and in our world overwhelm me many times a day. Working from home is not new to me. What is different is the difficulty in focusing my mind for more than a few minutes at a time, especially when faced with even minor decisions. For the last three days, each day is slightly better than the one before, I have hope. I've learned so much about myself. I know some of the thoughts, beliefs, and actions that may trigger the panicky feelings. I notice what happens to my body when I am flooded with emotions. And I keep discovering ways to calm myself. She then quotes Psalm 94, verses 18 and 19. When I felt my feet slipping, you came with your love and kept me steady. And when I was burdened with worries, you comforted me and made me feel secure. She continues, attached is an ongoing list of what I'm learning that I've shared with others. Please feel free to pass this along to encourage anyone you know that might be inspired to make their own list. This is what the love of God looks like for Kathy. You see, he gave her a system for overcoming these strange new panic attacks. Her system has four parts to it. Number one, she listed symptoms. Number two, she listed triggers. Number three, she listed helpful strategies. And last, she listed places and things to remember from my past. Some of her symptoms include the following. Heart rate is faster, blood pressure is up, breathing faster, dry mouth, thirsty, overheated, um, sweaty, unbalanced when walking, shaky hands and fingers, cognitive decline, short-term memory lapses, and being argumentative. And then the triggers, those are the things that causes the panic attack to set in. Some of the things that she included are news about the coronavirus, social media discussions about the coronavirus, misplacing things, any computer problem at all. Trying to do two things at once, any requests by email, any phone calls, any decision, stress about stress. And under helpful strategies, some of the things that she listed are, close my eyes to reduce stimuli, go outside, take a walk, especially in nature if possible, distract herself. She likes to watch TED Talks, light candles, read, highlight, uh, calming quotes from the Psalms, list things for which she's thankful, count her blessings, talk to God about her fears, get dressed, predict a good future, read about peace in the Bible, look for what I can control in a situation, pray for someone else, and add to this list as new ways are discovered. And she felt it was very important to include the last places and things to remember from my past. Some of the things that she included in hers um, are the awe of my first Renaissance Fair, 
having someone brush my hair, face massage, daily sunset walks on the ocean. This is the system that God gave to Kathy so that she could deal with her panic attacks. This is what God's love looks like. This is her story. What's yours?